So you're wondering how much can I be compensated for for participation in Nielsen TV ratings. In this video, I'm going to talk about the LPM, which are the local people meter markets. Um, these are major city areas. For example, New York City, San Francisco, um, Los Angeles, Sacramento, Boston, Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, Miami, Tampa, Seattle, um, major city areas, major markets. And for these um, local people meter uh, markets, um, the household has a remote control uh, or more than one remote control, depending on how many TVs they have. Um, basically, every person that's watching TV would press a number um, to log in and also to verify at 42 minutes if they're still watching TV. So basically keeps track of what uh, people are watching TV in that household. And then um, basically at 42 minutes, it asks um, the household to verify they're still watching by pressing OK or pressing a button. Uh, so basically keeps uh, more track of people versus the meter markets. Meter markets are smaller markets like Las Vegas um, and Austin, etc., like Jacksonville, uh, Florida, uh, smaller markets, um, maybe more regional, etc. They don't have people meter markets. They're not people meter markets, so the household does not have to press buttons. Um, basically, in those markets, if the TV is on, they count the ratings. If the TV is off, they don't count the ratings. Um, for those markets, I wouldn't think it's as accurate because, um, let's say, a house in the meter market just turned on the TV and left the house um, or is not watching TV. So they just want to leave the TV on or they forgot to turn off the TV, or they intentionally turn on the TV, um, maybe to support their favorite show or et cetera, and they're not watching TV, they're nowhere near the TV. Um, but the thing is, for meter markets, if the TV is on, you count for ratings, if the TV is off, you don't. Um, so, But for the major markets, the LPM markets, um, there's buttons logging in uh, for fine at 42 minute intervals if you're still watching. So for this video, I'm talking about local people meter markets, which are the major markets. And you're wondering how much you might be compensated for for participation. So it depends on uh, race and or ethnicity. So uh, these are the um, basically compensation charts, uh, the gift charts. And then um, so this category here is non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black. An example of a home that is non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black could be Pacific Islander or Samoan or Native American or American Indian. Um, they would be considered non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black, as an example. And then their compensation um, is here. The basic is the first home that is selected for the recruitment cycle. Um, they're the most scientifically random or scientifically selected or um, most random uh, selection. Usually um, for statistics, um, the first uh, randomly selected um, participant is the most accurate, but of course, not all the first randomly selected homes are signing up for the Nielsen TV ratings. Homes might decline participation for privacy reasons or other reasons or too much hassle or they don't want to be visited uh, often uh, by conditions or things like that. So they have the reasons for not signing up and not all homes, first selected homes, sign up. Um, so let's say if the first selected home does not sign up for one of their reasons or whatever reason they, they, they don't want to sign up, um, basically, in alternate homes should be recruited and to uh, basically take the place of the first randomly selected home, which is the basic. Uh, so the alternate home is a home that is near the, somewhere near, you know, reason, reasonably near the basic. So it's uh, some home that would represent that area because the first home does not sign up. Alternate homes are compensated less than the basic uh, because the basic is the most um, accurate home uh, to for participation. And then let's talk about uh, the next one, which is black and or under 35. So black or African American home will qualify for this compensation for the basic and this compensation for the alternate. And what does this under 35 mean? Um, this under 35 means that uh, also any household that is under 35 years of age with head of household that is under 35 could qualify for this compensation chart if their original compensation chart is not um, higher than this. For example, 
Um, there's two um, tiers would qualify for the under 35 uh, gift chart because your ethnicity um, gift chart is actually lower than the under 35 gift chart, which is here. Um, so it's this one right here, the non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black, and also the um, Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant. So what does the non-Spanish dominant mean? It's a Hispanic home that um, basically speaks, uh, doesn't speak mostly Spanish at home, or doesn't speak 50-50, um, at least 50% um, Spanish at home or more, so, or doesn't speak only Spanish at home. So Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant is a home that speaks mostly English at home or only English at home. Um, it's not like a home that speaks, um, which are Spanish dominant, that speaks mostly Spanish or majority Spanish or at least 50% of the language spoken at home is Spanish. Um, this chart here, uh, the 150B basic or the 100 alternate is actually the lowest compensation um, for the LPM system. So Hispanic homes that are um, speaking mostly English at home or only English at home are paid the least. And then it goes to the non-Hispanic, non-Asia, non-Black uh, category. And then the next one up from there would be the Black and or under 35. So if you were uh, this category or that category, and then um, your the head of household is also under 35, then you would actually qualify for this higher compensation. And um, what is the head of household? It's basically Nielsen asked uh, about who is the primary person who owns or rents the home, and then whoever the primary owner or renter of that home or apartment, etc., will be considered the head of household. So, however, um, the question, wh wh however, the household answers that question: the primary person who owns or rents the home. So, basically, um, this is the third. Um, basically, this is the um, the least uh, lowest compensation. Then this is the second lowest here. This is the third lowest here. And then um, this is the fourth lowest. So the next step is the Asian home. Um, the, the compensation is here. Then um, it goes to the Hispanic, Spanish dominant, meaning that the home speaks 50% or more Spanish at home. Um, and basically they would qualify for this compensation. And then finally, the Hispanic Spanish dominant home with meeting at least one of these two criteria, um, being Hispanic Spanish dominant and also um, household size two plus, so two or more people and or under 35 um, or household size two plus and no child. So uh, for example, a home that would qualify as Hispanic Spanish dominant and none of the above is a home that speaks mostly Spanish at home um, or only Spanish at home, um, but also has, for example, one person in the household. So one person in the household um, and that person's age is 37 or that person's age is 40. As long as that person is not under 35, um, basically uh, they would qualify for the Hispanic Spanish dominant and none of the above. Uh, so if, if they don't meet any of these uh, subcategories here as listed. But let's say if a home uh, was under 35. Um, so, and then, um, and there's two adults, and then the head of house was under 35. Um, they'll qualify for this uh, compensation as an example. Um, and then you're, you're taking a look at the compensation, and I know it's kind of, you know, like uh, uh, confusing at first, but let me explain why Hispanic non Spanish dominant. So the Hispanic homes um, that speak only English at home are mostly English or are not under 35 years of age or compensated the least. Um, so if you want to take a look at the alternate, uh, which is 100A, um, then next we'll go to the basic and we'll explain. So this is alternate 100A. This is the Hispanic non-Spanish dominant alternate home. Um, they start off with a 100 hour check and then they get a check every six months for TV and computer, and also every six months for TV only. It's either or, so, I mean, it's one or the other. So if you're doing TV and computer, you're getting this, and then you're going down this column. But if you're not doing computer, 
uh, the optional computer participation. You're just doing the, uh, you're just getting the 100 here, initial check, and then you're going down this column. Uh, if you add up the TV and computer with initial check here, um, this adds up to $395 um, for two years. Uh, if you're adding up TV only, it goes to $295. Um, so keep that number in mind. And then for the basic, um, so let's say for the Hispanic non-Spanish dominant home, that is the basic, so the, the first randomly selected home of that recruitment cycle, um, you're going to get a 150 check. And then you're getting a check for 75 at month 6, 115, 112, 115, month eight at month 18, um, then 150 at month 24. Or you're going to get 150 and then going down this column. And you could just um, you know, add um, the numbers up um, and then keep track of that, what it is for two years. Um, and then so basically that is the Hispanic um home that is English dominant or speaks mostly English at home that is non-Spanish dominant. So basically the next tier up is a non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-black home. Um, of course, um, this one is for the, uh, this one right here is for the alternate, so 50A. So why is this compensation page for the non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-black home higher than the the compensation for the Hispanic uh, non-Spanish dominant home. It's because by adding up the checks at, at the six month intervals, um, so $50 initial check, um, but you're adding up 75, 75, 75, 150, or you're adding 50 and then 50, 50, 50, 100. Um, so if you're doing this, adding up the gift chart amounts uh, for the two years, because of the higher uh, checks per the six months, um, see here, this is 50A, and then you can compare it to the 100A. You know, obviously the 50A, the checks are higher uh, at the six months. So they do add up to more um, if the household participates for two years. And then next, this is the basics. So this is a non-Hispanic, non-Black, non-Asian uh, home. That is the first uh, home selected for that recruitment cycle. They get $100 check, so $50 more. So initial check is $100. Um, the checks at six months or 75, 150, 150, 225. And then, um, and then the TV is 150, 100, 100, 150. So this is the basic 100 plus 75, 150, 150, 225. Um, what does that uh, add up to? Uh, well, that add up, adds up to um, $700 for the TV and computer with that initial check. Um, so let's compare the seven hundred dollars because one hundred plus seventy five plus one fifty one fifty two twenty five is seven hundred dollars. So let's compare that to the one hundred B. The one hundred B is the Hispanic non Spanish dominant home. So you have one fifty plus seventy five plus one fifteen plus one fifteen plus one fifty. Uh, if you add that up, it is less than seven hundred dollars. Um, next, we have the 150A. The 150A is the black and or under 35 uh, home. So let's say if you were a, a black or African American home, you would qualify for this. Or if you were a Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant home, and your home is under 35 in terms of head of household being under 35 years of age, um, you would qualify for this higher uh, compensation because even though you were qualified for the lowest compensation because the head of household was under 35, you would actually be bumped up to this black and or under 35 compensation. Uh, same thing with the other uh, type of home, the non-Hispanic, non-Asian, uh, non-black home. If you happen to be under 35, the head of household is under 35, I mean, um, you would qualify for this higher one, which is a black and or under 35. And the, the alternate one um, starts, off, starts off the 150 check and then check for 75, 75, 75, 150. And then 150 and then 50, 50, 50, 100 for TV only. Um, this is more. Uh, uh, and then the other alternate. So, and then the basic is the first randomly selected home uh, for that recruitment cycle. That home happens to be uh, black and or under 35. 
um, they would get this one. Uh, starts off with two hundred dollar check, seventy five, one fifty, one fifty to twenty five. If you recall, um, number the number for the one hundred B. Um, well, this is very similar to the one hundred B, just that um, you get a two hundred dollar check initially versus a one hundred dollar check. So this adds up to eight hundred dollars. On the chart, the next one up is the Asian uh, compensation page, and this is monthly. So for Asian homes. For alternates, so 150 AM alt A for alternate and then M for monthly. Um, the home would get a 150 check initially, uh, but they're not getting checks per six month intervals. Uh, before all the gift charts were uh, at month six, at month you know, at month 12, at month 18, at month 24. Uh, but for this one, it's monthly. So um, the home is getting 150. Then um, every month from one to six, month one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, they're getting a check for $25 per month for TV and computer. And then if they're still participating um, at month seven, it bumps up to $30 per month from seven, eight, nine, 10, et cetera, to 18. And then 19 to 24, it's $40 per month. So this is uh, uh, pretty high because they're getting, uh, compared to the other gift charts, because they're getting more um, in terms of monthly compensation. Uh, so this is the Asian monthly alternate. Um, gift chart compensation. For the basic, 200B, it's also monthly. Um, I guess there should be an M, you know, uh, it doesn't show an M, but to differentiate the other 200B versus this one, this is the Asian uh, basic monthly one. Um, so I'm just gonna call it 200BM, even though the gift chart says 200B, um, but this is for Asian homes that are the basic and um, the initial check instead of 150, it is $200. And then the checks for the six, the monthly checks are actually the same, you know? And so if you add up this, you'll see that this is higher um, than the other ones that we, we've discussed. The next one after that is the 250 AM. Now, the 250 AM is the Hispanic, Spanish dominant uh, alternate home. So AM, alternate monthly. Um, and then this is the none of the above. So it doesn't meet one of the two subcategories um, that were listed on the compensation uh, breakdown initially when I showed it to you. Um, so this is a home that is Spanish dominant, meaning that they speak 50% or more Spanish at home. Um, and then they qualify for a 150 check, initial check, and then um, their monthly checks are $30 per month for one to six, and then seven to 18, 40. In 1924, $55 per month. Um, so this is a lot higher than, let's say, the Hispanic home that is non-Spanish dominant, or the uh, home that is non-Asian, uh, non-Black, and non-Hispanic. Um, or this is higher uh, than the Black and or under 35. This is higher than the Asian home. So this is um, uh, for alternate gift charts. Um, this is one of the higher ones. Um, and then for TV only, here's the uh, monthly for that. Uh, but what about the basic? The basic um, is just another fifty dollars more for the initial check. So um, instead of two fifty, they need three hundred for the first randomly selected home of that recruitment cycle. The first random home, um, if the home is Hispanic, Spanish dominant, and uh, none of the above, um, you would get this. And the monthly checks, as you see, the two fifty, the three hundred. They're like the same. Uh, just set the initial check from 250 to 300 is $50 more. But let's say if um, you're a Hispanic, Spanish dominant home uh, that meets one of the two subcategories as uh, uh, discussed in the beginning. Um, if you're an alternate home, um, let's say you're an alternate home that speaks mostly Spanish at home and you uh, um, have, let's say, three people in your household. And, um, and no children in your household, everyone's over 18 years of age or older, um, you'll qualify for this one. Um, this is 350 initial check, and then uh, $60 per month uh, for every month from one to six. Since seven to 18, 75, 19 to 24, 90. Um, and then for TV only, it's here. And then next one is the basic. So the basic is the Hispanic, um, Spanish dominant home that meets one of the two subcategories uh, as discussed in the beginning of the video 
or any other updating of the video. And this is a four hundred dollar check, so instead of three fifty, it is four hundred. And then if you see here, compare the monthlies to the alternate one, it's the same. So sixty per month, seventy five per month, and ninety dollars per month. Um, so that is the compensation breakdown for the local people meter markets for the gift charts. And then, um, so if we take a look here, uh, I covered um, the difference between um, the two Spanish dominant categories. So the, um, so the highest gift chart is here, Hispanic Spanish dominant, um, either one of these two uh, criteria is household size two plus and or under 35 for the head of household uh, or household size two plus meaning that two or more people and no child no one is under 18 in that household um, so this is the highest one so first you have to qualify for this one and then uh, one of these two subcategories the second highest compensation page is a hispanic spanish dominant and none of, of the above meaning that they qualify for this one but they didn't qualify for any of the subcategories. For example, um, a household that's one person that is 37 years of age. Um, that person wouldn't qualify for um, one of these two subcategories. Um, then um, next one down is the Asian home. And then after that, it would be the black and or under 35 home. And then after that, it will be the non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black home. Um, and then, of course, the head of household can't be under 35 because if that head of household for this category is um, under 35, then they'll be bumped up to this category. And then the uh, lowest one um, is the Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant uh, home, uh, which is basically a Hispanic home um, that speaks only English at home or mostly English at home. Um, so they basically... For the Hispanic categories, they uh, basically have, uh, they basically broke it, broke uh, that category down into different language classes, or these two different um, types of attribute uh, types in terms of house size 2 plus and or under 35, or house size 2 plus and no child. And, and then it, here, um, you know, these are not gift charts. Um, there's a 5 plus household, there's a basic only, basic refuse, recheck refuse. Uh, what this means is um, if a home is five plus, um, obviously they're not, there's no gift chart for the home, but they can be offered a discretionary incentive chart, a uh, discretionary incentive. Uh, it's called a DCI uh, discretionary cash incentive. Um, uh, basically before they were paid in cash, but um, uh, from my knowledge, uh, now they're being paid uh, with Visa gift cards. And these are discretionary, being that the membership representative can offer it to a home that qualifies for DCI, discretionary incentives, extra incentives, um, if they wanted to. Uh, so let's say if a house has five more people in the house, um, the membership rep can offer $50 per person for, any, any, for anyone that's 18 years of age or older in that household. Um, but of course, that isn't tied, isn't tied to a gift chart. These are just, just discretionary incentives, uh, the DCI gift cards that can be offered um, as extra to try to set up the household. Um, managers, uh, I know that managers uh, do discourage giving lots of DCI or discourage giving DCIs to alternates and things like that. Uh, basically, don't really um, want to be giving too many, uh, too much DCI to homes. Um, because uh, yes, that cuts into the Nielsen bottom line, etc. cetera. Uh, so basically uh, giving too much DCI is uh, discouraged. Uh, so basically it's discretionary. So if you have to do it, if the membership rep has to, uh, you know, offers DCI to, to get that sign up, then, um, you know, uh, that's discretionary. Uh, the basic only reach up refuse means that let's say a home, uh, let's say a home does not sign up for the Nielsen TV ratings, but they're the basic. They're one of the basics. Um, and then um, maybe in a year from when they refused, or maybe six months from when they refused, uh, a membership rep decides to go back and try to check the basic again, see if they still want to sign up or they, if they changed their mind and would like to sign up for the TV ratings. Should the basic decide to sign up, you know, 
uh, the uh, membership rep can offer a basic bait check with fees instead of $100 for the household. So they can offer a $100 Visa gift card for the basic to sign up. Um, and then here are the uh, DCI charts, uh, the DCI uh, balance for these different categories. Um, these are discretionary for non-Hispanic, um, Asian, non-Black. There are, there's no DCI for alternates, um, but there is a $50 household DCI for the household, not per person, but for the household. Uh, so like one uh, Visa gift card uh, for the basic. Um, for Black and or under 35, it could be $50 per person um, for every adult that's 18 years of age or older. For Hispanic, Spanish dominant, in one of these two categories, subcategories, um, it is can be $100 per person over 18. So um, that's tier one. Um, Hispanic, Spanish dominant, none of the above is also tier one. So $100 per person for everyone 18 years of age or older. Um, Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant. Um, these are the homes that speak only English at home or mostly English at home. Um, they're tier two. They get $50 per person um, over 18. Um, and then the Asian home is tier one. Um, they can get $100 per person uh, over 18. And then the five plus, you know, let's say if a uh, alternate home um, has five or more people. So let's say here, this home here, non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black home is an alternate, but they have five or more people. Um, and let's say if the five or more people demographic is really needed, you know, um, something that is important, you know, I get the membership rep can um, offer the $50 per person tier two uh, to this household here. Um, so basically, um, it depends on um, if that five plus is really needed uh, in terms of a five person or more household. Because uh, some markets, you know, they potentially it could be like the manager doesn't want a DCF for five pluses for alternates. Um, if like, let's say uh, the market uh, doesn't need a five plus um, demographic, uh, that could be possible. Uh, so basically, here are the DCIs. Uh, these are discretionary. So ideally, the membership rep would not offer any DCI for signing up for a home. Uh, but if they need to, they can use this. Uh, these are discretionary. But the thing about it is um, these gift charts here um, for these ethnicity uh, or the age um, under 35 or not, or the, you know, the non-Asian, non-Hispanic, non-Black home, uh, or the black and under 35, Hispanic, Spanish dominant, one of the, in one of these subcategories, or Hispanic, Spanish dominant, none, and none of the above, or Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant, a, or Asian, these uh, are basically locked in. For example, if your home is um, basically a black and under 35 home, you can get this gift chart, depending if you're the basic or the alternate. The membership rep can't give you the Asian gift chart. The membership rep can't give you um, this gift chart for the non-Hispanic, non-Black, non-Asian home. If your home was um, uh, Asian, um, the membership rep can't give you a lower gift chart. Uh, for example, the Black and or under 35 gift chart. Uh, so let's say if you're an Asian home, um, you're, um, the head of household is under 35, you're qualified for this higher, the monthly gift chart. You're not qualifying for the uh, check every six month gift chart. And if your home is this uh, non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black, uh, you can't be uh, given the highest gift chart amount um, of the 400 um, basic or the monthly one or the 350 basic or the 350 alternate monthly one. So basically, depending on your race and or age, these are the ones that you qualify for. And in terms of this, um, so basically, this is nationwide for all local people meter markets. These are the set compensations. Even if, let's say, I was uh, when I was in San, San Francisco area, um, they have a thing where they set. Um, it's a thing called TAR. A TAR is basically when you're walking alternates or trying to sign up, sign up an alternate. Um, there's a like one of five categories that the alternate has to match to be able to be signed up. For uh, one of the um, things that came up on TAR was non-Asian, meaning that 
it's it basically didn't it could, it meant that I could have any home that is not Asian uh, because that's how they use they use a thing called tar which can like five categories uh, it could be like non Asian non Black non Hispanic or no kids or household size one or um, household with head of house under thirty five there's like basic list of these uh, categories that are um, needed or basically um, they would have that uh, come up. So you're trying to match, for example, if it's non-Asian, uh, that means to find any home that is not Asian um, that matches the type of reception of the basic home. And um, so, bas so basically, even though that's maybe in some markets, Asian homes are overrepresented, if the Asian home were to sign up, they would be still qualified for the higher compensation um, compared to like the lowest compensation of the Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant home or the um, uh, non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black home, or the Black and or under 35. So these are these um, compensations, they don't change. Um, it's whatever the head of house or home qualifies for. So let's say um, um, the, let's say the Hispanic, non-Spanish dominant home was totally underrepresented. Uh, the home that speaks most the English at home or only English at home was totally underrepresented in the market. Um, they're so qualifying for the lower compensation. Um, if a home was black and or under 35, let's say in a market at that time, the black or African American home was totally underrepresented. Um, they're still qualifying for a $200 uh, B basic um, for the basic gift, gift chart or the 150 alternate A for the gift chart. They're not going to be bumped up to a higher gift chart. So these gift charts are set in stone in terms of the not this whatever the household qualifies for. And even if let's say a demographic like um, let's say uh, a demographic was underrepresented and then they're stuck at a lower gift chart, like a lower compensation, they're, if they sign up, they're still getting paid that lower compensation gift chart. And um, here, the non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black uh, home, um, three examples of uh, categories of, of ethnicities that would um, fit into this category are the Samoan homes, Pacific Islander homes, or the American Indian or Native American homes. And then they would qualify for this one, uh, which is basically the second least uh, compensation page, uh, the 100A, 50A, or any ethnicity that is not Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black, and does not fall into you know one of the other categories um look at this so as you see here this is kind of problematic uh, in my opinion and then um in terms of this so i hope i explained uh, local people meter markets and then the compensation uh, gift charts and also i went into the discretion incentives as well um i hope you kind of understand um this um and then you can always look through um, these gift charts. So I'm going to show it to you once again. 100A. Um, this is the Hispanic, non Spanish dominant alternate home. 150B. This is the Hispanic, uh, non Spanish dominant basic home. And these two alternate and basic are the lowest ones. Um, this is the second lowest, the non Hispanic, non Asian, non black uh, alternate home, 50A. Uh, this is the 100B, the basic, the non-Hispanic, non-Asian, non-Black home. This is the 150A, which is the Black and or under 35 home. Um, and then this is the 200B, uh, the basic for the Black and or under 35 home. And then, of course, the 150A uh, is alternate home. A is for alternate, and then B is for basic. And then the 150AM is the Asian monthly uh, compensation page. And then this is the 200B. Um, this is different from the other 200B. So this is the monthly. So this is the 200 basic monthly uh, for the Asian home for the local people meter market. Um, this is a 250 AM Hispanic Spanish dominant and none of the above alternate. So alternate monthly. And then this is the 300B Hispanic Spanish dominant basic and uh, none of the above. And then this is the 350 AM Hispanic Spanish dominant uh, home with one of the criteria is uh, listed um, on that main breakdown. And then this is the 400 BM basic monthly 
um, this is the Hispanic Spanish dominant home that fits into one of those two uh, subcategory criteria. Um, so uh, if you're asking me if I recommend you signing up for the Nielsen TV ratings, I totally do not recommend that you sign up for the Nielsen TV ratings. Uh, please do not sign up for the Nielsen TV ratings if you're approached by a Nielsen TV ratings representative. And thank you so much. Have a great day.